Yeah, and it's not that windy. Hey guys, I'm out on the streets of Bath today and I'm going to be doing some street interviews with Aisha and our friends uh, Dan, Tom and Eleanor from Eleanor's Being In Life. We're going to be asking the public what they think about this vegan sidekick image um, and asking them their reactions and talking to them about veganism. So yeah, hope that you enjoy their reactions and see you guys in a bit. So I'm just going to show you an image. It's a piece of artwork, um, and I want your like immediate thoughts when you see the image. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Up. It's, like a, it's probably painted by a vegetarian, vegan, probably. <laughs> um, really? Okay. It's a little right? scary. I mean, that was I a think, I think scary. it just. It What's scary about it? I don't know. I think it just shows like not vegetarian. Like we all say we love animals, but we eat fish and cow and yeah. chickens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah. Oh my god. Oh it's so typical. Oh my god. The humans, they kill the guys they love, the animals. Yeah, we should all become vegetarian or vegan. Definitely shows the connection between having a pet and the things that you eat and what is the difference, you know? Do you think it's more of like a disconnection? Um, yeah. well, I think it is in real life, not necessarily in this picture because he's actually killing the animals. Yeah, yeah. But, um, oh, definitely. Like, you don't usually kill the animals you eat. <laughs> and if you do, good on you because that, that's hard. <laughs> Do you think that it's possible to say that you love animals but still eat them? No. I would because I eat animals but... <laughs> well, I live in the city so obviously there's not that much connection to animals. Like farmers or other people who actually um, take care of them. So you kind of, um, when you eat the meat, you don't really see it as an animal, is that what you're saying? For me, yes. I. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know, I never really... I don't eat a lot of meat, so it's... Um, I think... Do you think if you, saw, if you thought you know, it was an animal every time you eat it, you wouldn't be able to eat it? I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I don't think about it like this. Do you yeah. think that... Um, you can say that you love animals and then eat them as well. Uh, I think yes. it depends on how on how you kill the animals to eat. Yeah, because there's a difference when you kill it yourself and eat it than when it's already killed for you and yeah. someone else. What, what's the difference? What do you mean? I don't know because I feel like if you were to kill it, it wouldn't. It'd be different. Like you'd have a connection with. Yeah. Them. Yeah. So because you're like disconnected from it, if you don't kill it yourself, you can still kind of say, I love animals and is that as what you mean? As long as there's like a respect yeah. there, you know? Maybe. I don't know, well I mean also like it's about how they're killed, so if they're tortured and slaughtered, yeah. compared to if they are on, like, on farms and are grass fed, like I think it's different than, it's just how they're treated can determine how you feel about animals because it's whether you know that there is a life or you don't. You just treat them as food. What do you think would be like a humane way to kill an animal? Painless? <laughs> At the end of their lives? How do you make killing painless? Uh, cut the throat. <laughs> I've heard. But... Well, if you have an animal or a pet, you think about eating them, it's different, I'd say, for most people. But, um, so you think that um, it's okay for us to like love some animals like dogs and really treasure them, welcome them into our homes, but other animals we raise them for food and kill them? It's, if it's okay, or if it's... Well, that's how our society works in a way. Yeah, it's a difficult question.
So you think it's because of societal influence that we do this? And it's because, well, ever since men worked, um, well, not worked, but lived, they ate animals and ate food. Uh, well, they had to eat something. But so I don't think we have to eat them anymore. Our society is much different from the days in the past, so we don't have to eat them. We are so rich in these countries, we don't have to eat meat, so we shouldn't, I think. As long as you make their life better and you don't make their entire life like stuck in a small cage. Like, like when you get eggs, if they're cage free, you know they were like roaming free rather than being in a cage and just taking their eggs from them. Do you think it's okay like um, to raise animals and give them like a nice life and let them enjoy life but then take that life away from them? I mean I think it's just how since the beginning um, we got food is like you needed to do it to survive and I think so chickens they have really small brains right you know so humans we have more ability to feel things Think that that means they they don't have the ability to feel anything no no so they still can feel some sort of emotion and pain yeah. fear mm -hmm. yeah. so how do you feel about that like causing them that i mean i just think in the end it's it's just how nature has been working um there's always going to be someone higher up on the food chain um, if it wasn't us it'd be someone else that would get them it's not like we're purposely killing more animals than we need. Well, maybe, maybe now we are, but meaning that's think, not the intention. Do you think that we need to eat animals? Because you said that you know we're not killing more animals than we need to. No. But <laughs> do, do, we, do we as humans now in, in civilization, when we have access to all these kinds of foods, need to eat animals? Right. Oh. A plant-based diet is the, the healthiest <laughs> yeah. diet. I don't think that you have to eat a lot of meat. Like, some people eat them every day. Uh, eat eat every day a lot of meat, but so do you think we need meat, some meat, to survive? I would say if there is if there if there are other, other possibilities that are good, not just for animals but for the planet, because um, soy soya, you say that as well in English, um, to grow this is also in a way, um, yeah. Well, do you know that 95% of soya is fed to farm animals? I heard of it, I think. <laughs> That's not good. So most soya that we grow is actually fed to farm animals because we have to grow their food before we can grow them, before we can eat them. So if you don't eat meat, then you use a lot less land and resources because um, you don't need all of the extra production. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know how. I don't know. All about um, what, what does he say? Whole foods, plant-based diet. <laughs> yeah, like um, you don't need animal yeah, protein. I would agree with that. No, I definitely. Under I believe that we don't need that. Like yeah. my, I have a grandfather who's 90 years old and he's not taking any medication. And it's because of his diet solely. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. He, he had stomach cancer and he was eating bad, he was eating poorly before and then after he got stomach cancer he changed his diet completely and he hasn't taken any medication since. Um, wow. So I definitely <laughs> think that diet is a, is a good way to go. Um, yeah. Has that not inspired you to become plant-based yourself? I mean, if I had more of a connection to him, maybe. Just because he's, he lives in a different country, but I mean... I try not to eat as much animals as I used to before. I'm more aware of it. Yeah, um, yeah I agree. I think when I'm older, I'll try and make a concerted effort. What do you think about um, people that eat dogs in China, for example? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Because the, food, the animals that we eat, we think of them as something different, but dogs are our pets. Therefore, we think that Eating pets in China is a lot worse than us eating a cow. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, but it is. 
in well, in, at least in my head. Do you think that eating a dog would be like wrong? <laughs> I would. Yeah. Why is that as opposed to a pig, for example? Yeah, probably because we have them around us all the time. We know. Well, yeah, we have people that know animals, or we know we have animals, uh, pets, and yeah. pets them ourselves. So we really don't have the money to spend on eating healthier and... It costs more money to eat healthier. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At least in the States it does. What yeah. kinds of foods? What kinds of like, food? Fresh food costs Even vegetables a sound like our are... Any is produce more is expensive. way more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like things like uh, rice, lentils, beans, those kind of things. Those are the cheapest foods on the yeah. planet. Yeah. And meat is even expensive too. Yeah. Right. So what, what is it for you personally that's, that's an obstacle? What, why haven't you... Um, you know? I, was, I was a vegetarian for a really long time and then, I don't know, I feel like it's almost society like pushing you into it. You need to eat meat, like it's part of your culture. And so I started eating like um, light meat, but I still, if I, if I, like I cut it out any time, it wouldn't really, like I don't need it. Yeah. What do you think it would take for you to kind of um, what obstacles are there preventing you from stopping eating meat? I don't eat a lot of meat, therefore I don't, I don't know, it's... I simply don't want to, um, well, put a berry in my head. Just say I don't eat meat, because, well, it's stupid. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. It's more like myself, letting myself eat whatever I want, but that's selfish. Same. So you think there's like a pressure on you to kind of conform to the way, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what we've been doing, like in our society. Yeah. And advertisements and drug companies yeah. want you to do that. Yeah. They want you to believe um, that all these things will help you with disease or cause disease when they don't and so you have all these advertisements telling you that this is the case and you have the disconnect between what's real science and what's like flawed and paid by the drug companies. So why do you think that if like for example with your granddad you said is it um, if he can cure his stomach cancer with a plant-based diet why do you think that the drug companies are telling us to eat meat? Because they want money. They're, that's all they want, they want money. It's all about money. Just um, one part in question for you then. If you had the choice to kill humans, kill animals or kill neither, what would you choose? Neither? <laughs> well that's being vegan for you. <laughs> cool, thank you so much guys. What kind of an organization? It's it means easier the just FDA to try it not, um, like not put yourself in that situation. Kind of just try to keep doing your own thing without falling into all of the advertising and stuff yeah. but if culture. yeah like if your whole culture is doing it it's hard to like just put a stance against it it's easier just to kind of keep your own distance it's becoming easier like you know like in in recent years to be vegetarian and vegan than it might have been 50 years ago yeah. definitely now many in places America. are having options like vegan options vegetarian options kosher options yeah they're more open to being available to everyone. But if the majority of the menu is like meat stuff, like bacon bits here and there, I mean... It's like the one vegetarian option on an entire menu. Yeah. How do you think that's going to change? I mean, there are more places that are opening up, like vegetarian kitchens, vegan kitchens. I think it's just a process. Not everything's going to change overnight. But I think we're definitely in that first step. We're more understanding. I think before, we just didn't even know about the problem. And now we're becoming aware. And it's not going to be something that changes overnight. We're like definitely going through the steps. It's just hard to see the progress when you still know it's